my name is Alex Gardelman. I am from Chicago, Illinois, and I am an installation slash sculptor um, artist. My name is Jonas Sabura. Uh, I also live in Chicago, Illinois, and I consider myself a sculptor. The title of the piece is Both and. It's a quote from Robert Venturi uh, from his um, the seminal book on architecture that he wrote with Denise Scott Brown that's titled Learning from Las Vegas. And um, it, it's the, it refers to kind of this um, duality in architectural existence of um, kind of artifice and its relationship to um, our understanding of space and history, I guess. We have a, a huge surplus of materials um, in our working process that are all, most materials have all been um, uh, found or recycled materials and not necessarily that the work has anything to do with that, um, like recycling or anything, but um, there's a certain uh, there's a certain aesthetic that we found in um, using found materials or reused materials. The state of decay is it's just a really fertile place to draw from because you can find you know a sense of hope, a hope in that, or a sense of purpose um, to, to fight. It's as something to push against, um, but also to confront and accept. Um, so that there's kind of a duality in the way that we can work from that, um, kind of from both sides of, of the idea. Of the idea. One of the reasons that uh, we are using the marquee is because it's uh, a part of our kind of cultural lexicon of images that um, is, as time goes on, is dying out uh, because they're being re replaced by LED and things that are much more efficient means of communicating language and information. And so we're interested in marquees because they are these beautiful objects that kind of hold this very specific place in our cultural conversation um, and that um, they seem like an appropriate stand-in for kind of the conversation that we're having about loss and um, an effort to save something even though it's too far gone. And so by making these little efforts within the piece where we're kind of putting in certain small details that are new into this thing that's kind of in this state of decay, we're kind of very momentarily suspending that moment of decay. And I think by putting these windows into one side of the marquee, um, it's bringing on a conversation of changing what this space is to try and make it last a little bit longer. So it's half marquee, it's half living space. I think having a, a sense of generosity and sincerity about what you do yeah, is, is really incredibly important to being able to maintain a studio practice and being open to hearing feedback about your work and being open to giving feedback to other people um, and being honest with yourself about what it is that you want to do and not trying to force yourself to make work that you don't really care about. Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, that was one thing that Alex and I um, realized we had in common right away was that, um, yeah, don't try to make work that you see in the museum because you like it and you want to copy it or not even, I don't know, just like whatever you're interested in, just make work about it, um, which uh, was advice given. <laughs> Uh, well, advice we had heard that was given to this great artist, uh, Hamish Fulton, who is a, this walking artist, and he gave a lecture that Alex and I both saw that was like, um, when he was an undergrad, he said, uh, one of his professors asked him what he what he liked or what he what he was interested in, and he was like, well, I like being out in the woods, I like hiking around, and the guy was like, make work about it, and he started to, and he's had a huge career ever since, and it's just like totally made him happy, and that's what he makes work about, and I think that's one of the most important things that you could ever do. Yeah.